I highly recommend you to please watch all the videos of this series just before the day of examination so that the concepts will be fresh in your mind. If you missed question number 1 to 120, please check previous parts of the series. So let's mark the keyword and we will focus first on option A and B together. A says dedicated instance, B says reserved instance. Dedicated instance and reserved instances are the most costliest option. As per the question, we need most cost effective, that is the cheaper option. So A and B are out. Let's move to option D. D says spot instance. As per the question, we need to continuously run the AI workload. Due to continuous nature of the workload, spot instances cannot meet the requirement of the question. Hence, we'll eliminate this option and we'll lock C on demand instance as the correct answer. All right, let's look at this question. We have encountered similar question in the past about AWS Cloud Adoption Framework, also known as CAF. So let's look at option A, A says scale. Scale focuses on optimizing and expanding cloud capabilities. Hence, incorrect choice. Let's look at option C first, C says align. Align, as the name suggests, focuses on aligning the business and technology strategies. So that is again uh, out of context as per the question. C is out. Let's move to option D. D says launch. Launch focuses on executing the cloud migration plan, validating the cloud solution and ensuring a smooth transition to the cloud. Again, incorrect choice. We are left out with one option. If you look here in Envision, it's written identify and prioritize transformation opportunities in line with your strategic objectives associating your transformation initiatives with key stakeholders and measurable business outcomes just note the keyword business outcome will help you demonstrate values as you progress through your transformation journey just read all these align launch scale what these are because as per the latest syllabus for CLFC02, you need to know about cloud, cloud adoption framework that is CAF as it's included this time, right? So you got to clear about all the concept. So we'll lock option B as the correct answer. Okay, whenever you see questions related to high ability, then look for options containing in different ability zones. More better option can be different AWS region. This is because even if a natural disaster hits a specific geographic region like the US region, and if you have the backup in different region like India, then our solution will be highly available. Hence, we'll keep option A because there is mention of multiple AWS regions. We'll reject the rest and lock it as the correct answer. Alrighty. The question is about monolithic application. This type of question is classic uh, where microservice versus monolithic application you need to be familiar about. So let's first look at option A. A says rehost. Rehost involves lifting and shifting the application to AWS without any changes to its architecture or code. This approach does not address the challenges of monolithic applications such as high coupling or uh, uh, low cohesion and uh, difficult maintenance. Therefore, incorrect choice. Let's move to option B. B says replatform involves making some minor changes to the application, such as changing the database engine or the operating system to optimize it for the cloud. This approach does not break down the application into microservices, which limits the benefits of cloud native development therefore again incorrect choice let's now move to option c c says repurchase repurchase involves discarding the existing application and buying a new one from a third party vendor that runs on aws this approach does not leverage the existing code base or business logic of the application which can result in high cost loss of functionality and vendor lock-in we'll eliminate this as well we are left out with refactor. If you look here, to be to fully benefit from these advantages, you should continuously modernize your organization software 
by refactoring your monolithic application into microservices that's what is required will lock option d as the correct answer we are at question number 125 as per the question we need to find out which of the task is not customer's responsibility but solely aws responsibility if we look at option a b and c together a says encrypt data on the client side b says set up iam security policies following least privilege and c says update the guest operating system on the ec2 these are all customer responsibility if you have done the hands on then you might be already knowing that these are possible uh, for us to do for the option d it is odd or not if you look install patches to the nitro hypervisor this a customer has no control over it that is customer has no control over nitro hypervisor hence it's solely aws responsibility so we'll reject a b and c and keep option d and lock it as the correct answer all right another question related to cloud adoption framework i'll give you my quick tip and the tip is here just remember these points so as per the tip you can see that culture evolution is for people event management keyword is for operation so we are more focused now this time for data modernization that is business why because if you look here the keyword is business and here i have marked business which corresponds to data modern uh, monetization so uh, hence as per the keyword business belongs to option c that is data monetization so it is the correct answer and we'll log this all right this is very straight forward question we use ec2 spot instances when our workloads can be interruptible in spot instances can be stopped anytime in option c spot instance looks good because as per the question if you look uh, the models will stop an instance from running so this meets the requirement well lock option c and before locking if you look here port instances can be interrupted by amazon ec2 with 2 minutes of notification when amazon ec2 needs the capacity backup back uh, spot does not guarantee that you can uh, keep your running instances long enough to finish your workloads so that's what is required will lock option c as the correct answer all right this question will test your concepts again on ec2 very very important topic with respect to exam s3 ec2 these are the basic services you need to be familiar about this let's first look at option a e says spot instance spot instances cannot satisfy the requirement of the question as the uh, workload needs to be steady in previous question we have seen that uh, spot instances can be Uh, are used when it's interruptible so for now option a is out let's look at option b b says dedicated host dedicated host is the costliest option it cannot meet the requirement of the question b is out let's move to option d d says ec2 auto scaling instances we do not require auto scaling because as per the question we don't need to increase or decrease the number of ec2 instances right there is no mention about it so we don't need auto scaling so d is out we are left out with ec2 instance savings plans let's verify this in the official documentation under savings plans it's written you can save up to 72% on your aws compute workloads so that's what is required we'll lock option c as the correct answer let's bring the heat to the snow the question is about optimizing uh, cpu utilization and avoid wasting resources interesting question let's look at option a a says agility agility is the ability of the aws cloud to deliver it solutions faster and more flexible so this is not we are looking for a is out let's move to option c c says reliability reliability we know is the ability of aws cloud to ensure the ability and durability of the data and application uh, the question is not about du durability or ability of data right there is no mention in fact any kind of data so reliability is out let's move to option d d says durability 
So durability is the ability of the AWS cloud to protect the data from loss or corruption. Again, as like the previous option, the question is not related to data. So durability is out. We left out with elasticity and it is the correct answer. All right, all right. We need to select two correct answers. So you just got to keep in mind or read in real world exam whether you need one correct answer or two correct answer. Otherwise, what will happen if you don't read correctly? You'll mark one correct answer only and leave one out and move on to the next. So that is a big mistake in this exam because you don't get negative marking. Even if you don't know the answer, just do a guesswork which you feel uh, can be correct because in that way you might end up choosing the correct one. So let's look at option B first. B says Amazon Connect. Amazon Connect is a service that provides cloud-based contact center solutions. It does not directly contribute to loosely coupled architecture required by the question. So B is out. Let's move to option C. C says AWS Trusted Advisor. So Trusted Advisor, as mentioned in previous parts, that it is like a personal assistant, which can guide about the best practices in AWS. It has nothing to do with loosely coupled architecture, hence again incorrect choice. Quick tip for the exam, whenever you see keywords like loosely coupled in the question, then look for option containing SQSQ and you should get your answer. Because when you move for solution architect associate, this is very common option SQSQ that you will find loosely coupled architecture kind of keyword. Hence we'll keep these two options and lock it as the correct answer. So please, please, please don't go away. Let's meet in the next part of the series. If you want the PDF version of this course, including the keyword tricks, which will make this exam a breeze for you, please enroll in diamond membership or above, which also unlocks by default all the member only video, including early access videos. And uh, you can uh, ping me on uh, or inbox me on LinkedIn at the rate of Cloud Guru Amit or Instagram at the rate of Amit Physique. I'll be helping you out with the PDF access.